Hey everyone, this is Billy, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to make the basic hair rig used for carp fishing. To start, there are going to be a few things that you will need, but remember, a lot of this tackle or equipment that I'm using is specialty carp equipment, so if you're looking to buy any of these things, you will probably have to buy them online or at select tackle stores that are located near you. So, you will need a carp hook, a baiting needle, boilie stops, your bait, which you can either use corn, boilies, uh, pop-up boilies, uh, fake corn, things like that, and lastly, you're going to need your line. So the first step in making our hair rig is going to make a loop at the end of your knot. Uh, there are many ways to make a loop at the end of your knot, uh, but I'm going to show you the way that I use mine. Uh, first, you're going to section off maybe about three or four inches on the end of your line. You're going to make a loop, maybe about the size of a dime, and then pinch. You're going to take this tail end, go around the front of the loop, and pinch again and pull it so that you have your loop and you have a little circle in front. Then you're going to take this tail again and put it between the circle and the loop and pinch again. Next you're going to take your baiting needle, you're going to go through the back of the loop, grab the circle and pull the circle through the loop so that it makes a loop on the end of your line. Then you're going to take your scissors and trim off just the little bit of extra line that you have here. Good. So now we have a piece of line with a loop on the end. Our next step is to make the knotless knot. Now how you do that is you're going to grab your hook, you're going to take the other side of your line, you're going to thread your line through the eye towards your hook point. You're going to pull it all the way through until you have about maybe two or so inches off uh, your eye. Uh, we could sit and talk about, you know, uh, hair lengths all day long, longer, shorter, things like that. Um, but I will be making a video about that soon. Uh, but a general consensus is probably about two inches like I have here. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to grab the hair and where the, the hair meets the base of the shaft of the hook. You're going to pinch here grab the extra um, line that you have off the eye and wrap around the shaft probably about six or seven times. Around six or seven. You're going to go back, take the um, line through it back, the eye of the hook, and pull tight. Good. So now what we have is a line with a knotless knot to a hook and a hair. Your next step is going to be adding your bait. Uh, for this video, I am going to use a pop-up boilie. Uh, again, you are going to use, you know, corn, boilies, or whatever you're tending to use. Um, again, I will be making videos as to what baits work best uh, in different situations. But for this uh, video, I am going to use a pop-up boilie. So what you're going to do is you're going to use your baiting needle, put a hole through your bait. You're going to use this loop at the end of your um, hair. You're going to clip with your baiting needle the end of the hair. Make sure it's tight and push your bait onto that hair so that your bait has a piece of line right through it. So right now you have your hook, your hair with your piece of bait uh, with the hair going straight through it. Next you're going to take one of your boily stops which looks like a dumbbell. You're going to insert your boily stop into the middle of your loop. So what that's going to look like, if I can get it, it's a pain sometimes. I'm going to open up this loop a little bit. Oh, struggle bus. Good. So you have your boily stop, and you're going to pull your bait back towards the end, and it's going to sit just like that. The boily stop is going to uh, not allow your bait to fall off. Then you're going to attach your line to your um, rig and um, you're going to adjust your rig length. Um, again, we could talk about rig lengths for however long we wanted, um, but I recommend something between you know 8 and 12 inches. So you're going to come up here, you're going to cut between 8 and 12 inches off, you're going to attach it to uh, your main line, you're going to attach it to your swivel, uh, whatever it is you choose. Uh, and this is your basic hair rig. You are ready to fish from here. If you are interested in making your hair shorter, you could wrap it around the base of your um, hook, makes the hair shorter. Or if you want to make it longer, you go back or you just leave it how it is. 
Um, that is going to be your basic hair rig. Thank you all for watching this video, and please be sure to check out some of my other videos that are on my channel. And if you liked this video, uh, please don't forget to like or subscribe for more awesome fishing content. Thanks, guys.